What's up you guys? I'm moving out of my apartment. Like, out, out. It's been two years I've been in this apartment and there's a lot of memories in here and a lot of stuff. And we've already started, but I'll show you guys what we've done so far, but it's kind of crazy. They're chocolates oh. from when Connor and I got engaged. Nice. Okay, so here's my vanity. It's like a part of my room. That's why I really like this room because this is the only room in the whole apartment that has this. So that's why I got it. Um, oh. My mirror is right here too. Whole bunch of beads. Um, but this is my whole vanity, which is like huge, biggest vanity in the rooms. And then they have just a whole bunch of storage space. So I have two drawers on the side that we already cleaned out. And then just all this under here that I definitely used. So we already got that like cleaned out. Oh, and as you can see, we got up there cleaned out too because I used to have like sweatshirts and pajama tops and then over here I just had random stuff. But we got that out. So this is kind of what it looks like right now. We have a lot to do, but we're actually doing it kind of fast. I would say, right? Don't you think we're kind of doing it fast? Yeah. So I guess what we have left to do is put all my clothes into boxes and my shoes because I have a whole bunch down there and then my Nike is all up there and then put all these clothes away <laughs> put those clothes away yeah you can put those in there get my bed all rolled up because I have like a foam mattress underneath there and then clean these out of clothes and then we got to clean like a lot so that's kind of where we're at but I'll set you guys up and you guys can see kind of our process. It's like there's so much room all of a sudden. <laughs> I have a picture of you wearing this before. The iconic track suit. You wore that in the first week when you came to school. I have a picture on my phone. For real? Yeah. I don't even remember. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Woohoo! We have been at this four hours like it's 440 now but things are getting there we are just about to like finish cleaning out my whole room cuz like as you can see, most of it's out. It might not look like that, but it is, I promise. Most of the stuff is out. Um, and then we've started cleaning the kitchen, like my duties in there since I'm leaving and we cleaned out the fridge of all my stuff. So I'll go show you guys that. But yeah, it's been intense. So as you guys have seen the vanity already, 
pretty much all cleaned. I just need to take my taser, face wash, comb, throw that candy away, hair bands, other stuff, just get it out. Um, and then a towel and some jewelry, but take that off. The closet's all done. Um, just a few little extra like miscellaneous things. And then my dresser's all done. Still need to get like some medicine and my hat's all figured out. But those are all the clothes that I'm taking back to Pocatello with me with Connor or things I want to wear like this week because we're kind of packing up everything else. Um, I want to take those shoes. I love my checkered vans. Garbage. These all, this all needs to go into the car. That's laundry. Just also miscellaneous things that I just use. Um, and then another suitcase, which I'm going to put that coat in. And that one. And then probably some more stuff. But I have like my hats all around that I need to fix up. Bed's done. Need to grab my stool and basketball and some just last little things. And then I need to clean this room. Just wipe things down. Clean the walls. Clean the mirror. Stuff like that. Clean the window. And then I'll be out. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. So, one of my, like, loyal subscribers, I actually did a video with her, the Bean Boozled. She had sent me this, like, this, like, care package of just, like, cute notes and stuff like that. This says, perfect Paisley. Okay, not perfect. Much less of any of that, but, um... You can, if I don't know if you can tell, like, you can barely see it, but it used to be pink. But now all you can see is a pencil. So I've like had it up. I've had it up there right above my bed. Literally forever. So like two years. But I don't know. It's just so cute because Sienna was the first person to ever like send me like fan mail. And I thought it was so cute. So um, I'm going to keep that. Took that down. And then just have some last little things. But let's go to the kitchen and check things out. It's a little crazy there because a whole bunch of boxes are still there. My dad's job is to move things out of the house into my, the cars because we we're using three different cars to get up, to move my stuff up. We're moving up to my parents' like house up um, here in Utah, so we're going to leave it there until Connor and I can move into our apartment. Oh yeah, I'm getting married. <laughs> so that's why I'm moving, obviously, and getting things out so I can have all my stuff in my new apartment when we move in. So here's the kitchen, literally two full boxes of clothes and nonsense, my basketball clothes in here, shoes, a, oh a whole another box like full of shoes, just shoes, some food that we're going to take up to the lodge, this is a whole bunch of my appliances that I had brought for my kitchen stuff, and then mom's starting on the cleaning over here, cleaning out some fridge, she's been such a trooper today. But then I have like clothes that I'm giving away. That suitcase is full of like dresses and then all my bedding pretty much. And then this, this is fun. So I don't know if you guys know what this is, but it's a foam pad. And like I had to have one coming into college because the beds are just not comfortable. Like at all. Like, they'll freaking give you back pain all the time. So, I, my parents, like, were nice enough to get me this foam pad. But now, since I'm going to be moving to, like, a queen bed with Connor, we don't need this twin foam anymore. But my teammate, Kyra, she's on the basketball team with me. She's actually from Washington, and she went to my rival high school, which is crazy that she's here now with me at college, which is, like, so fun. But, um... She's going to move into my room, and so I'm going to leave this for her and let her have it so she doesn't have to sleep on a crappy mattress. But, yeah, that's kind of like where we're at. We are getting so close. I honestly don't even know what time it is because I took the clock off the shelf over there, but this is what my room looks like now. Oh, shoot, it's almost 6 o'clock. But... I'm in the corner. Oh yeah, changed. In the corner. I'm like washing the baseboards right now with the Clorox wipe. And then I think I need to wipe down the legs of my bed. Wipe this down, like all of it, all the legs, little platforms and whatever. And then I've already done this. 
I have finished my closet completely, wiped it down, wiped up there, got everything out, washed the doors and the walls. I still need a vacuum the whole ground. Vanity, it's bare, but I haven't cleaned it yet. I need to clean it. And then the bathroom is completely done. My mom and I, my mom helped me do the shower. We finished the toilet and the floor and everything. So that is done. And then we cleaned out my pantry with all my food. And then we cleaned that. We still need to sweep a little bit in there. And then mom's hard at work. She's been such a trooper in helping me out. She's been doing so nice and so good and to help me. But she's just wiping down the walls and our little whiteboard. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's a whiteboard that we could use erase dry erase markers on. She's sweeped. They're still. <laughs> yeah, I will come back through. I've not done this one yet, really. Um, but look at this. She did the whole, like while she's been working in the kitchen, I've been working in my room, so she did like pretty much the whole kitchen. But she wiped down this whole oven, got through these, replaced all the tin foil. Went. Did you get underneath here, mom? Yeah. yeah. Clean under there. Um. And then she's doing like extra stuff, like she did the microwave when we don't even have to do that. She did the um, washing machine, and then she did some of the fridge too, which is super nice. She's just going to work. She's just a hard worker, mm -hmm. a good hard worker. Hi guys. <laughs> but that's kind of where we're at. So I'm gonna finish these baseboards, wipe down. Um, my desk and then wipe down the bed and then I'm gonna vacuum and then do the vanity or vanity first then vacuum vacuum might be the last thing but we're almost done hallelujah what do you think I like it we just need to Let's vacuum, vacuum. You want to take the dresser out or just move it around as you're going? I think move it around. Okay. Okay. Yes. All the work you did. All the work we did. Okay, guys. So, obviously, you just saw that the vacuum was a bit stuck so we literally just got all the hair out of that that's freaking gross I'm not gonna show that but I'm gonna finish vacuuming this and then we're gonna leave because we have to leave yeah. <laughs> we finished My mom, I'm so thankful for you because you literally just helped me do all that. Well, I could not have even done it by myself. I could not. I would barely clean if I was all by myself. <laughs> but well this done. is this is what it looks like from the bathroom. So we got the bed over there, and then our dresser or our dresser. And then our desk, our cute little closet that's right across from the vanity. And then the bathroom's in there and that's all done, but I'm moving out. I don't know, I just wanted, I just wanna do a last little thank you to Carriage Cove. And like I moved into this apartment with three of my best friends that were on the basketball team with me, Maria, Mally, and Abby. And it was so much fun because we all had a blast that whole first year. We would always go to the pool during the summer. We were always like just hanging out, talking, like loving, living with one another. And so, I don't know, I just really enjoyed like this apartment. I've been here for two years now. Maria and I were just here these last this last year. But I, I mean, I've loved it. I loved having my own room, a spacious room, my vanity in my bedroom, so. I've loved it here, I've had a great time, but now it's time to move on, move to the next chapter of my life, and that's marriage. So I'm moving in with my fiance, hopefully at the beginning
beginning of this of May, but with all the COVID-19 stuff, things are obviously still up in the air, but I moved out. I'm happy. I got I got it done. My mom and I got it done. And the kitchen looks good too, I'll show you guys, but I don't know. I'm just happy. And it took a lot of work, so I'm extra happy that I got it all done. Wow, my room just, look at it from this angle. Like I actually have a big room, guys. This is big for BYU. All right, I think I'm out of here. I think I'm shutting this door for the last time. Turn this light off for the last time in my life. Ah! Goodbye room. Wait, did I take everything out? Yeah. Goodbye room. Goodbye. That was Maria's room, that was Mally's room, and then Abby's room is right here, and then mine right here. Future Paisley, future Maria, Mally and Abby. Goodbye. The legacy is ending. The legacy, the happiness is all ending. Well, the happiness is not ending, but look, it looks so good. Yeah, I can just remember sitting in this living room with all of them. Every summer night after we had been at the pool, I remember making Oh my gosh, I remember making uh, what's in my mouth challenge video with Maria right here, like right in front of this window. I keep sticking out my tongue, I don't know why. What else do we do? What the heck? Maria, Abby and I would dance like here our sophomore year before games. I don't know, we used to watch The Bachelor. I got into The Bachelor because of Mally. Aw, this is just so sweet. We got this big love sack because all four of us moved in all together. And that was a perk of like having four move in at a time. So that was pretty awesome. But, okay, ah, I think I'm gonna sign off. I don't know how enjoyable this was for you guys because I literally was just cleaning. But lately I've kind of been liking watch, like watching those videos. But besides the point, mom, my car door is open. All right, anyway, I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna say peace out to Carriage Cove. Maybe I'll get a last little clip of me like shutting the door and locking it for the last time, but. Okay, bye. Peace out. All right, guys, I am locking it for the last time. Bye. I think that's it. I returned my keys. And now I'm literally gonna pull out. I literally have so much crap right here. But I'm about to pull out. <sighs> no longer living in an apartment by my, well, with roommates. I'm not gonna live in it with my husband. Ah! But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you guys have been, kind of been with me the whole time. Like all my subscribers that I've had in that house, in that apartment, so. It's kind of like a little sad ending for all of us, but also a very exciting beginning. And I just want to say thank you to Carriage Cove. That's the apartment I stayed at, and they were just so sweet. A little bit of a money, a, what, is it, what is it called, a money pit. They really like taking my money, and I didn't like giving my money to them, but it's okay. I loved it there. I like got to spend my with my best friends there like spend uh last two years so that's pretty awesome but thanks guys so much for watching i'm rambling on by now because i just started driving but um appreciate you guys and we are, we're almost we're like four thousand people away from fifty thousand which is crazy guys that's crazy so if you're not subscribed please subscribe and we can grow this family bigger and start this journey with more people let's do it i'm excited i just got so excited for some reason i hope you guys are staying safe in COVID 19 peace out y'all bye